Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Edict 84 of the year 2019 appointing Wa'il bin Nasir Al Mubarak Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs. The edict to be implemented by the Prime Minister comes into force from the date of its issuance and is published in the Gazette. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi on the 6th of October anniversary. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi on the 6th of October anniversary. His Royal Highness the Premier sent a similar cable to his Egyptian counterpart Mustafa Madbouli. Under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and following the initiative of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the 2019 government form will be taking place tomorrow, Sunday, the 6th of October 2019. All government departments will participate at the forum, which provides a unique platform to discuss wide-ranging governmental policies and initiatives, in particular the government program 2019-2022, enhancing the quality and delivery of government services, providing quality opportunities for citizens and ways to transform current challenges into future opportunities. The government forum represents an opportunity to further enhance the government performance and coordination in order to achieve the kingdom's strategic goals and to ensure quality public service delivery across government departments and agencies. The forum will address policies and efforts needed to achieve the sustainable development goals within the government program 2019 to 2022 and the Bahrain Economic Vision 2030 underpinned by the principles of sustainability, competitiveness and fairness. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, sent a cable of congratulations to the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al Sisi on the 6th of October anniversary. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince sent a similar cable to Egyptian Premier Mustafa Madbouli. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, witnessed the competition of the 27th edition of the Brave Mixed Martial Arts Championship organized by Brave Federation, which is held in the UAE capital Abu Dhabi and is witnessing participation of 20 players from 15 countries. The event was attended by a large number of mixed martial arts supporters in the UAE. On this occasion, His Highness praised the brotherly and historical relations between Bahrain and the UAE, which witnessed over the past years a new level of keenness from the two countries to strengthen the frameworks of cooperation and joint coordination in all fields, which reflected their mutual aspirations for security and stability for both countries, as well as progress and prosperity. His Highness said that Manama and Abu Dhabi have close ties of history and brotherhood. Love and cooperation manifested in the relationship between His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and his brother, the UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, the Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. He noted that Abu Dhabi has become a special place for supporting the successes achieved by Brave, which is striving for more proliferation after it was launched in Manama and toured many cities, affirming Bahrain's development in the area of sport. He also praised the fights showcased in Brave 27 before congratulating the winners and Brave Federation under the leadership of Mr. Mohammed Shahid. His Highness praised the performance levels presented by the fighters in this edition of the championship, which resulted in the success of this event. Congratulations congratulating the winning players and appreciating the efforts exerted by Brave Federation, headed by Mohammed Shahid, for the outstanding preparation of this tournament in a way that reflects the aspirations of His Highness. His Highness Sheikh Khalid witnessed 10 fights during the event, including a fight between the Jordanian player Jarrah Estilawi and the French player Abdel Abdel Rahimov.
Representatives Council Speaker Fauzia bint Abdullah Zainal participated in the launch of the Arab Document for Women's Rights Ceremony under the patronage of the Chairwoman of the General Women's Union, the GWU President of the Supreme Council for Motherhood and Childhood, Supreme Chairwoman of the Family Development, Her Highness Sheikha Fatma bint Mbarak. Zainal affirmed uh, that the achievements of Bahraini women have become a pioneering and distinctive model for the countries of the region in light of the comprehensive corrective approach during the era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and in light of the continuous efforts and vision of Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King, President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa to support the advancement of Bahraini women in various fields and comprehensive development sectors. Zainal was uh, selected as the key keynote speaker at the first working session themed the mother of the emirates the main empowerment of arab women the model of the uae which will review the experience of bahrain in the advancement of bahraini women as one of the leading and successful experiences in the region it also reviewed the efforts to support the gulf women and the role of the mother of the emirates and the statement of the foundation's perspectives and dimensions which had a significant impact in supporting the process of empowering gulf women such as constitutions and national laws based on Islamic law and the authentic Gulf culture which promotes the principle of equality of opportunity and gender rights as well as policies, programs, plans, initiatives and projects in accordance with the UN 2030 Agenda on Sustainable Development Goals. The launching ceremony of this document came at the kind invitation of the President of the Federal National Council of the UAE, Amal Abdullah al kubaisi and the President of the Arab Parliament, Mishal bin Fahad Al-Silmi. The Representatives Council Speaker Fauzi Ibn Abdullah Zainal affirmed that the government form is considered a unique initiative to develop a national work in various fields and sectors. She noted that it has the attention of the legislative authority to emphasize the and strengthen the effective cooperation between the Representatives Council and the government and its work program, which comes in implementation of the royal directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. She noted that the form held under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and at the initiative of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa is in line with the Comprehensive Development March and in accordance with the Bahrain Economic Vision 2030. She pointed out that the parliamentary, legislative and supervisory work is interested in the follow-up of the implementation of the themes of the Government Action Program 2019 to 2022, which is entitled Sustainable Economic and Social Security within the Framework of Physical Balance and enhancing the quality of government service and creating promising employment opportunities. She noted that the Parliament is keen to follow up on the implementation of all projects, initiatives and programs and physical balance initiatives in order to achieve the desired goal for the country and its citizens. She praised the efforts of all those in charge of organizing the government forum and wished them success in this distinguished initiative, which aims to develop and advance the public sector and increase active participation from the private sector. Shura Council Chairman Ali bin Saleh Hassalah affirmed that the government formed 2019 to be held for the fourth consecutive year under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and at the initiative of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Al Saleh stated this form has contributed to the promotion of successful institutional work in various government agencies in order to overcome challenges and to reap achievements in the field of uh, the provision of high quality government services. The Shura Council Chairman also hailed the form as a platform for officials and decision makers to consult and discuss ways of enhancing government performance and to ensure the sustainability and continuity of services. Al Saleh noted that the year's form or this year's forum shall focus on the government's action program for the years 2019 to 2022, along with the subject of physical balance, which reflects the keen interest of the government to reduce physical deficit. Al Saleh also affirmed the continuation of cooperation and coordination between the Shura Council and the Executive Authority in a manner that ensures that legislation and laws are kept up to date with the growth and prosperity in various fields. 
The Foreign Affairs Minister, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, affirmed that the government forum, which will be held on Sunday, reflects the visions and aspirations of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to meet the aspirations of citizens and support the goals of sustainable development. The minister added that, that the 2019 government forum, which is held under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and uh, the initiative of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, is considered a vital platform for enhancing visions, presenting achievements, reviewing and evaluating in order to reach citizens' aspirations, creating new mechanisms and means that help government agencies and institutions to meet them, enabling them to improve performance and implementing the government program, overcome challenges and continue to develop and modernize in all sectors of government work. He pointed out that the government form is in line with the Bahrain Economic Vision 2030, supporting the directions aimed at continuing the implementation of projects and programs that benefit the citizens and the provision of government services with high quality and efficiency, as well as the development of the performance of government work, which contributes to creating promising opportunities and a better future. Transportation and Telecommunications Minister Engineer Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed witnessed the launch of operational trials for the new terminal building at the Bahrain International Airport. The first trial of trail involving tests to advanced electronic luggage handling system, which is vital for the operation of Bahrain International Airport through advanced systems. The minister expressed pleasure for the first preparatory trials to test the operational readiness of the new terminal building. Thanking in this regard the representatives of all parties for all their efforts since the launch of the introductory training courses organized by Bahrain Airport Company in cooperation with the Fraport AG. The minister added that the airport modernization program, which costs 1.1 billion US dollars, represents one of the largest and most important development projects in the history of the Kingdom of Bahrain. The Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Ayman bin Tawfiq al muayyad affirmed that the fourth session of the government forum is a continuation of the efforts exerted by the government to promote initiatives and projects to achieve the vision of Bahrain 2030 and the sustainability of services that continue the path of sustainable development, which has the interest of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa. The minister said that the conveying of the form under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and at the initiative of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and its continuation for the fourth consecutive year demonstrates the keenness of the government to improve the performance of government work to meet the aspirations of citizens through the provision of government services with high quality and efficiency. And Mayed added that the government form is rooted in the Bahrain team's direction to continue to achieve the visions, plans and programs of Bahrain in a matter that contributes to unifying efforts to enhance the development movement in the kingdom and enhance the contribution of the government sector in the development process. He pointed out that the ministry has built a strategy directed towards the youth and sports sector in the kingdom in line with its 2030 vision and the government program which contributes to meeting the aspirations of citizens and the youth and sports sector. The Director General of the OFDPM, Sheikh Fahad bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa, noted that the 2019 government form will be held on the 6th of October 2019 under the patronage of His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, following the initiative of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, is an essential platform that charts a streamlined path for all government entities to work collaboratively towards accelerating the Kingdom's comprehensive development and meet citizens' aspirations in line with His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's vision. He added that the form reinforces the government's commitment to implementing wide-ranging development projects through the government program 2019-2022, alongside the implementation of the Physical Balance Program, which aims at achieving a balance between government expenditures and revenues by 2022. He concluded by adding that the form serves as a platform that shapes the future of government service delivery and enhances government efficiency and the quality of government service provided to the citizens in line with sustainable development goals.